As president of the Negro League Museum, Bob Kendrick has seen every picture painted and every statue erected in this building, but wasn't sure he would ever see this. When I had written off the Hall of Fame as any possibility for Buck, his fans remained vigilant. That vigilance paid off. After years of waiting, on July 24th, Buck O'Neill took his place in Cooperstown. And now, just a few weeks later, that piece of Cooperstown and Buck are back in Kansas City. It's very rare that a Hall of Fame plaque leaves the National Baseball Hall of Fame. Yet here it is, shining with Buck's million dollar smile for all of Kansas City to see. He loved Kansas City and Kansas City loved him back. And you can feel that love where I felt it in Cooperstown and I'm feeling it here today at Buck's house, the Negro Leagues Baseball Museum.